Marlin here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is to show you all the parts and pieces that I have collected, and there are many, <laughs> to do my fall Christmas tree. I think I will move my camera down a bit after I you know, show you this tree that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was $80 and I paid half price for, well, I used my 40, almost half price. I used my 40% off discount coupon for it. So we came up with this idea, or actually we were chatting about it in my live last Friday and I got this idea in my head and I couldn't sleep. I couldn't function, you guys, because all I kept thinking about was a fall tree. A fall tree, what could I do, what could I do, what could I do? And I knew I wanted to use the garland that Rich sent me, all the way from the UK, so I knew I wanted to use that. So everything that I purchased to go on this tree uh, will go hopefully and you guys will see here I think will pair beautifully with this garland. I'm going to show you this up close but I wanted to show you the tree first. It's sitting here bes behind me and as you can see on the floor I have just a, a leaf garland so I'll tell you about that in a second but this is the little tree. It's five feet tall. Let me see if I can let me see if I can push you back a little bit. See that it's pretty tall. Five feet tall. I couldn't get the whole thing in the picture and video <laughs> but I wanted to show you it's one of those kind of primitive looking trees with the big trunk the big uh, I would say it's about three or four three inches maybe three and a half inches in diameter around it's a big trunk when I go to do this tree next week uh, you know I'll give you a closer look at it but y'all can look at them in your Hobby Lobby or go online excuse me oh take a peek at them so but anyway let me see if I can figure out how to put Put us down a little bit so I'm not like looking up so high at you guys. There we go. That's a little better. I feel like I'm a little closer. I'm not yelling at you all the way up there. Well, first of so, all, I've never done a fall tree before. Never in my life. Never even contemplated it. Had no idea where to start. I have not Googled, nor have I looked on Pinterest or anything else. I've just come up with this out of my head. And that's the way I like to create. I have no idea whether I'm gonna be copying somebody else. If I am, it is certainly uh, not intentional. As I say, I have not done research on this at all. I'm just starting from scratch and with my own mind and my own creative ju juices have been flowing for sure. But first of all, let me show you this. Uh, first thing I got was this, uh, I've, got it, I've got it all intertwined with the uh, wires back there, sorry, with the cord, light cords. But I just picked this up this morning. I went back to Hobby Lobby to pick up a few more things. I just wasn't happy with, I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough stuff. Now I might have too much, <laughs> but hopefully not. But I just got this. This was 40% off of $9.99, and this is just a very simple leaf garland. And I'm going to use this to go around the bottom of the tree. You know, we have dog hair abounding in here, and it will probably, this will probably get dog hair in it, but at least I can take the, uh, the nozzle of my, uh, my vacuum cleaner and suck all the tufts of hair, I'm hoping, off of it. But instead of using fabric for a, like a tree skirt, I thought I would use just one of these as its tree skirt. So that is gonna go around the bottom of the tree. I think I'm going to put this, you know what, I'm not quite positive where I'm going to, where it's going to end up in my fall decor. I'm thinking about over by the ivy table, uh, maybe on this side of the ivy table, not the kitchen side, on the family room side there. Uh, I've also thought about over by my corner cabinet in the kitchen, but I'm obviously going to do it for this side of the house where I decorate more traditional in more traditional fall colors. Uh, I'm not sure where it'll end up, but I'll probably sit around and carry it around for a little bit until I figure out where exactly I want to put it. But uh, anyway, let me show you all I have. I'm excited to do this. I really am. I am. I get excited when I do something new like this, you guys. And it, it just, 
it, it makes me a happy girl to be able to do this and create something new and do some try something I've never tried before. I love that. I love that. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to use uh, Rich's Garland has been my inspiration for this. Honest to goodness, you guys. Look how beautiful this is. I have wrapped a, a strand of 35 brown corded lights around this and the brown cord just it, it's flowing beautifully in this and I'm going to leave my tag on here too my Arlen's Country Craft Corner tag I'm going to leave that on this just because I think it's cute and I just love this and I so appreciate Rich sending this to me and it is I think it's like six feet long around six feet long so this will be the garland to go around the tree so this is what I have built all of the rest of this decor and I tell you what I'm gonna put this around my neck so because I know I'm gonna refer, be referring to it often and I have nothing to set it up on other than the tree and I'm not gonna do that yet so I'm gonna put it around my neck and y'all gonna think I'm crazy but I'm gonna put it around my neck so that we can whoa so we can uh, refer to this often isn't it pretty it's just so pretty I just love it makes a pretty scarf too huh <laughs> okay First of all, I'm going to stop, start from the top down, I think. I've, I've picked up this sunflower. Now, this, of course, is a, is a yard stake. But Chris and I talked about this. I said, Chris, could I use a yard stake? Could you either cut it off or, or that will help us to, for this to give it stability? To give this stability, I needed it to have kind of a, a longer stem, if you will, on it. So... I don't know whether I'll, this whole thing will stay on or whether Chris will cut it in half for me or exactly what I'll do, but I'll let you know, of course, next week when we go to do this. But I thought, would it be cute to put a sunflower on the top as a tree topper? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on the top, and it's going to be the tree topper for this. I don't know whether people, other people use things for tree toppers or not for their fall trees, but I am. I'm going to use this as my tree topper. I think it's just adorable and it is metal and it's not heavy and we needed something that wasn't really really heavy because this tree is it's stable but if I put something wood in that was really heavy it would it would topple this tree over unless we anchored it up in some way but so that's gonna be the top right there I tell you I am so stinking excited about this I'm just giddy I'm almost giddy it's terrible aren't I terrible oh my goodness so then to go with that I thought Okay, I want to do a funky bow swag, kind of as a topper in front of this. Like, I'll, I'll put it right at the top of the tree, but I'll hang it. I don't know whether the green will be on it, but I'm going to hang it on the tree, but right below this. And I thought it would make like a funky bow swag, a little bit of a swag. Uh, let me hold this here. These are the ribbons I've chosen to use. I think I will use this. I can't hold everything along with this and <laughs> excuse me and this so those three I think unless I find something uh, darker or something I don't think so though I think I'm going to use these three this yellow kind of pulls the yellow of the sunflower the gold will pull some of the other things I'm going to show you and the gold in this I think it's going to look really pretty that is going to be a super cute funky bow and I'll probably and I'll probably make like a 16 looper maybe I don't know whether I can do with only three it's hard to do a 20 looper uh, but at least it probably a 16 loop and do what I did the other day in the pink pretty and pink lantern and cut two extras of two of them you know probably the pumpkin so i have more pumpkin uh ribbon in it so won't that be cute i think so uh and i'll show you what i think i'm going to use for the for the uh, bow swag so let's see where do i start the rest of this the rest of what i got is what i'm going to use as ornaments and picks that I'm going to put in the tree. Let me show you first what I thought about using as a, a, a swag. These are what I thought about putting up against one another, you know, and probably bending them down a little bit. And then the funky bow 
and actually might have some, you know, stuck up and around the, the, the uh, sunflower there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to work out. You know me, I'll create as I go. But I've got like six of these, you know, I could even put some of these within the bow. Uh, my thought was to use two like down in the tree some way. But I thought of a, you know, I thought a funky bow swag out of this. And then I thought adding a couple of these would be cute too, to add some pumpkins into the mix. I also bought four sunflowers. Now I probably won't put those in the funky bow, but since I'm using a sunflower, I wanted to pull the sunflower in a little bit down through the tree somehow, even if it's just a couple, three, I bought four, but so we'll see once I start putting it together, you know, it's like a Christmas tree. You got to start putting it together before you know really what it's going to look like. So I don't know what it's going to end up looking like. We're just going to say a prayer that it works out looking cute. <laughs> so anyway, six of these, I had six of these. And then I have four of the sunflowers. And then I had that other pick that I should drop two of those with the pumpkins on them. I also wanted to buy some picks to stick down into the tree a little bit. Uh, so I thought these were really cute. These corn, little, little corn stalks or whatever you want to call those. Corns with their husks still on them. I think they're cute, super cute. So I thought stuck in the tree somehow. I bought four, three of these, just three. I thought they were cute. And then I bought some pumpkins, four pumpkins, you know, to go with the, so we have sunflowers and pumpkin, pumpkins are my kind of my theme for this, but I bought four pumpkins. And again, I don't know that I'm going to use all this. I will use it somewhere in my decor, but I don't know whether I'll use all of this. And then to round out the picks, I bought uh, some more of these ones with the acorns in them. And I'm not sure I'll use these in the tree, but I have three, three more if I need them, just to, you know, to fill out with folly looking stuff. Then I thought, well, I'll, I'll have enough foliage and whatever. And you can see this is, it's all paired, you know, it's all going to go beautifully with, with this, you know. And then I thought, well, I would like some ornaments, you know. So, oh, I also bought, hang on, before I say that, I also bought like a bag of pumpkin, pumpkins. I have no idea whether I'll stick these in and around it anywhere, but I thought I might like to have the option. <laughs> so I got me some pumpkins, just a bag. And then I thought I wanted like some ornaments on the tree. So I picked up a, an array of things and uh, I forgot a couple of things out of the dining room table. Damn it! I'll show you those in tomorrow's live. How about that? <laughs> I'll finish showing you what else I got. There's just a few things out there and I don't have anything else to haul for you. So I'll show you those tomorrow at my live uh, that I got from AC Moore. These are all, all this stuff came from Hobby Lobby. But anyway, I got me a sunflower happy fall and it's wooden. And it was three, two, 2.99, 40% off. Then I got happy harvest. and welcome autumn i'm not sure if i'll put this there is a little bit of red uh elements or rusty elements so this might pair okay i think it does i think it looks pretty so i got that then you know, I thought about, I, when I saw these, I thought, wouldn't it be cute to bring some of my scrolly elements in, you know, that I have all my metal pieces and stuff. These are not metal, these are resin. But I bought three in each color. One in cream, three in cream, excuse me, three in kind of the rusty orangey color. And then three in 
kind of a black or a wool rub bronze color. I thought they would be cute. Now, I don't know. Again, I don't know whether I'll use these. If not, I'll use them somewhere. I know that. And then I bought two bigger ones. Actually, this was Chris's idea. He said, if you're going to put this by the ivy table, maybe you might want to buy two, two bigger pumpkins to put on the ivy table with these. I was like, well, that's a good idea. So we bought two bigger ones to put on the ivy table, just in case I go that direction. If not, I'll certainly find a place to put them. And then I got just two more things. Well, I got some more things here I want to show you. But I got some more ornaments, literal ornaments. And they come in a package of two for $3.99. So I got, whoops, these are kind of blingy leaves, two of them. And like an orange. And then I got kind of the gold. So again... How cute, huh? Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm going to love this. Again, I probably have way too much. <laughs> but if I'm going to put it by the ivy table, I can pull some other elements into the ivy table's decor too. So in my mind, I wasn't only buying for the tree, but also to, to accent the ivy table. The piece that's going to be sitting right next to this tree so three more, th four more things here. Oh, five more things, excuse me. I did buy this too. I'm not sure if this will go in the tree, but it could snug up in there. I just bought a, a, a wooden leaf with blessings on it. I thought that was cute. And then I thought, you know what? I want a couple more things. And again, uh, you know, I'm not sure that these will end up. I'm hoping so though. I just loved this little scarecrow. And look. I did not have his, his uh, garland with me, but check it out. It just matches her to a T. When I saw her, I was like, I cannot resist her. I've got to get her. She was so cute. The little scarecrow with, with a little witch's hat. But isn't she just the cutest thing with her little piggy tails and her with her little sunflowers and her pigtails and her little corn holding, you know, and you know, it's kind of like she pulled everything. I found her on my way out. She kind of pulled everything together, and I thought, how cute is she? So, and her dress is, she's got a little vest on, a little jacket on. She cute with her little jacket on, a little gold jacket. <laughs> so I just thought she was adorable. So I will set her in there somehow, some way. And then I just bought two, these three little dudes <laughs> who kind of accent her. And they don't have any legs, but they have like beanbag butts. <laughs> so I got two that say harvest. And then one little fella that says just fall. Again, he, uh, Rich put some, some browns in here and I wanted to pull that out too. Along with the acorns, see the acorns? There's a method to my madness, you guys. <laughs> and I, you know, I took a look at this before I left to go shopping each day. I've, I've done two shopping trips now. And each day I took a look at this and I was like, I want to really, he's got sunflowers on here. He's got orange. He's got rusty colors, some green uh, and browns. And I was just like, I can do this. I can build a whole tree decor around this. And that's what I did. So I am super duper excited. I'm gonna take this off because it's burnt, it's hot on my neck. Hence, don't ever leave this stuff plugged in when you leave the house, you know, it got warm on me. So anyway, that's it. I am about ready to go on this, but I'm gonna wait until next week because we have this video and then we have uh, Friday Live, my Friday Live. So I was thinking I would do the tree next week and then maybe that red lantern and do something with that, maybe. Uh, and do a fall funky bow, you know, funky bow swag on my, my the infamous <laughs> red lantern. So I might do that. Um, but anyway, so that'll be two videos for next week. And uh, then I am taking a couple weeks off. So, or at least a week off. And then I'll be back and be moving and shaking full steam ahead on our fall decor, right? <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, that's it for this one.
<laughs> I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And like I said, I don't have a lot to haul for you, at least right at this point in time. Who knows? Something might happen between now and then. Uh, my car. Our car has still not come in. I have no earthly idea what time it will be coming or what day it will be coming. Uh, but, you know, I, I will show it to you when it gets here. And I'll keep you updated <laughs> for sure. But that's it for now. So let me just say I hope that there's nobody struggling or... I hope that there's no one out there struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain. And if you are, I hope that there's someone there with you, helping you get through each day, with making each day the very best it can be. I hope that there's nothing weighing on your mind or in your heart, pulling your attention away from where it should be or where you want it to be. I keep you all in my thoughts and prayers every day. And remember, in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. Love you all to bits, to bits, to bits. And I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.